All right, I want to show you the arrow way strategy for addition. This is 58 plus 29. Arrow way is pretty much the number line, same concept. It's just we're using arrows and it can be quicker and easier because you don't have to estimate the length. It just looks a little bit cleaner. So here, when you're adding, I would always start with the biggest number because that means that you don't have to add as much. You don't have to do as many steps. So we can start with 58. 58 is where we're going to start. And now we need to add 29. So I can do it a couple ways. I'm going to decompose. I'm going to add 20 first. So an arrow plus 20. 58 plus 20 is 78. I've done my tens. And now my ones, I need to add nine. Now for me, knowing my number bonds, I would try and get to the nearest 10. It would be easier for me. So I would add two to get to 80. So far I've added two, but I need to add nine. So I need to add seven more because seven and two is nine. That's how much I have to add. It would be 87. So that's our answer. Another way you can do this, again, start with the biggest number. I could add the ones first just the same way I did. Try and get to that nearest 10. 58 plus 2 is 60. So I took 2 away from here because I added it. So I've got 27 left. Okay, now I can add 20 equals 80. And now I can add plus 7, 87. If those number bonds are a bit too difficult, breaking the 9 into a 2 and a 7, you could also go 58 plus 9. I could even count on my fingers if I want. I can count by 1s. 58 plus 9 would be 67. I've done that. Now I need to add 20. So add 20 equals 87. And even if that's too much, I could do, I could break this into two tens, a 10 and a 10. And I could do plus 10 equals 77, plus 10 more equals 87. Arrow way is like number line. It's just more straightforward. Um, and that's it for adding with um, the arrow way.